Hello. Today we are going to make a simple day-night cycle in Godot 4 using a sky shader. In a previous video I showed how to make a day-night cycle using a physical sky material. You can watch that video here. Sky shaders give you more control over the sky. You can add a moon as well as a sun, and you can also add clouds. To begin with, we have a world environment and a directional light rotating on the x-axis. We will click on Sky, and for the material we will use a shader material. We will create a new shader and call it Day-Night Shader. The shader type is Sky, and under that we will put Render Mode Use Half Res Pass. We'll start by adding two colors for the day sky gradient. Uniform VEC3 Top Sky Day Source Color. And Uniform VEC3 Horizon Sky Day Source Color. Under Shader Params, we can see the color values we just created. We will choose values for these colors. Under the sky function, we will create a gradient based on idir.y. Clamp will keep a value between two values in shader language, so we will use these values to mix the two colors. The number will be a percentage, which will be between 0 and 1. idir will give us the sky panorama, and y is the vertical of the panorama. We'll mix in the percentage of the second color, so the higher the value of idir.y, the more of the second color will get mixed in. We will put VEC3 sky color day equals mix horizon sky day top sky day color gradient. Then we can put color equals sky color day, and the sky will be the day color. Next, we will add a night gradient. We will add colors for the top sky at night and bottom sky at night. We will create a gradient for night, the same way we created the day gradient. Now we can get the direction of our directional light with light zero underscore direction. We will add a variable for sky color. To tell if it is day or night, we can add an if statement. If light zero direction dot y is greater than 0.0, .0 Sky color equals sky color day. Else, sky color equals sky color night. Then we will set our color to sky color. This will transition very roughly when we run it between day and night colors.
We will add two colors for a third color. Top sunrise set and horizon sunrise set. We'll create a gradient for sunrise and sunset. We will add some nested if and else statements within our if and else. Under if light zero direction dot y is greater than 0, 0.0, we will put if light zero direction dot y is greater than 0 0.1, sky color equals sky color day. Else, we will mix sky color day and sky color sunset based on light zero direction dot y. Then under the else, we will put if light zero direction dot y is greater than negative 0 0.3, we will make our sky color a mix of the sunset and night colors based on the absolute value of light zero direction dot y. So it will be a positive number. Else the color will be color sky night. I chose those values through experimenting. Make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Now we have the colors we want. Next we will make the sun. The code for how to place the sun and moon and how to create a moon crescent is based on the stylized sky shader by Patty EXE under the MIT license and the stylized sky shader with clouds for Godot 4 by Exhilarate under the CCO license. Both can be found on the Godot shaders website. Add a uniform VEC 3 source color for sun color and a uniform float for sun size. Under the sky function, we will add a float sun direction equals distance either dot xyz light zero direction. Float sun position equals 1.0 minus clamp. Sun direction divided by sun size. Zero point zero one point zero. We will add float sun disk equals step sun size sun position. To create a circle in shader language, we step up from the point of the center to the radius. We will add vec4 sun equals vec4 sun color comma sun disk. The vector 4 will give us an alpha value for transparency that would be based on the circle. The circle will be opaque and the rest transparent. Then we will add sky color equals mix. Sky color sun.rgb, sun.a. This will put the sun on top of the sky. Where the sun is opaque, the alpha will be 1, and everywhere else it will be 0. So the sun will be 100% of the color where it is, and the sky will be 100% of the color elsewhere. And now we have a sun that rises and sets. Next we will add the moon. We will need variables for the moon color, moon size, and the moon crescent offset, which will be a second circle that we will subtract from the first to create a crescent. We could create a second directional light and point it in the opposite direction of the sun and rotate it and use that light's information with light one 
underscore direction. But we are going to make this shader for a sky with only one directional light. We will put float moon direction equals distance either dot xyz and negative light zero direction. Then we will add float moon position equals 1.0 minus clamp moon direction divided by moon size, comma 0 0.0, 1.0. Then we will put float moon disk equals step, moon size, comma, moon position. Next we will add the crescent. Float moon crescent direction equals distance. Vec 3, either dot x plus moon crescent offset, either dot yz, minus light zero direction. Then float moon crescent position equals 1.0 minus clamp, moon crescent direction, divided by moon size, 0 0.0, 1.0. And then float moon crescent equals step, moon size, comma, moon crescent position. We will draw the moon with transparency, like we did the sun. Vec4 moon equals Vec4, moon color, comma, clamp. Moon disk minus moon crescent. Zero point zero one point zero. Then we will mix the moon with the sky color the way we did the sun. Now we have a day-night cycle with a sun and a moon. In a future tutorial, we will add stars and clouds. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.